Okay, so Rob, one of our early conversations revolved around this idea of dopamine. So I was really curious, as things stand, what does the future look like for men who are ignoring the warning signs from all this indulgent in short form content? You know, we got the mm. the TikTok, we got the Instagram reels, we have got um, YouTube shorts. I mean, 15 seconds of high intensity stuff, my friend. Where does this leave us? Yeah, I think it's going to be quite bad. I mean, I, I think you can answer that question by just asking another question. Hmm. What do you think is, is going to happen to your life if you literally don't have the attention span to do anything more than, like you said, 15 seconds? I know. And most of the time it's entertainment videos, right? It's not even something serious, but you don't even have the attention span to watch entertainment for more than 15 seconds. I mean, there are people that see a longer video that's like 10 minutes mm. in a topic that they are interested in, but then they choose not to watch it or they put it in the watch later list and they end up never watching it. Despite the fact that it's something that they are literally interested in, but they don't have the attention span to just watch that video. I mean, if that, if that is unironically you, if that's your attention span, then how do you expect to ever do anything serious in your life? Mm. How do you expect to do anything significant in your life? How do you expect to, to like work on your own business for a couple of hours a day? It's, it's going to be impossible. Your brain is absolutely fried to the point where you just literally cannot do anything serious anymore. And I think it goes without saying, if, if your attention span, if your, your focus is that, that short, well, your future is probably not going to look that it's, bright. It's equally as short, your future, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's a poetic way to end it. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. I, I, I think we, we were discussing this idea that it's actually training you <clears throat> to yeah. be distracted. Yeah. And that was the most insidious and pernicious aspect of, you know, this modern content is that on the surface level, it might seem in innocent. You know, we're talking about entertainment, mm. you know, a couple 15 minutes of stimulation here and there. What calm could it do? Mm -hmm. But, you know, beyond the surface level understanding of things in your neurochemistry, you're actually being wired for something, again, short term. Yeah. And it's actually a skill now to focus. It's a skill now to concentrate on anything beyond you know, 10 minutes. Absolutely, <laughs> and, uh, absolutely. Even, even 10 minutes is a, is a challenge for some people. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, I've actually been affected by this to, to a certain extent myself as well, like quite some years back. I was living this lifestyle where, you know, I just, I only played video games and I did a lot of browsing on the internet, you know, like places like Fortune and Reddit and YouTube videos, or it's post after post, video after video. And I got to a point where, you know, I was that guy that was struggling to watch a longer video. I was struggling to read a book. I was struggling to do serious things. And back then, we didn't even have short form videos. We didn't even have them. It, it, yeah, it, it, right thing, right yeah. now, it, it, it's so, so, so much worse. Like you said, you are, you are literally conditioning yourself that whenever you get bored, you just swipe to the next video. And it's so easy, right? It's so easy. You're constantly being put in this environment where it's just impulse after impulse and after impulse. And your brain simply doesn't know anything better than that it can get a new impulse every time. 